Most American jurisdictions treat a killing as voluntary manslaughter rather than murder if a defendant is killed in the heat of passion resulting from sufficient provocation from the victim. Typically, such provocation occurs in a single act shortly before the killing. But what if the provocation didn't occur in a single act sufficient by itself to reduce murder to manslaughter and, instead, was a series of provocative acts over weeks? The California Supreme Court addressed this issue in People v. Barry. Albert Barry, aged 46, married Rachel Pesach, a 20-year-old woman from Israel. A mere three days after their wedding, Pesach left by herself on a six-week trip to Israel. When she returned, she told Barry that in Israel she had sex and had fallen in love with a man named Yako. She said that she might be pregnant with Yako's child and asked for a divorce. Over the next two weeks, during which time the couple chronically argued, Pesach alternated between taunting Barry about her supposed desire for Yako and proclaiming her desire for Barry. At times, she demanded sex from Barry. Their verbal arguments escalated to mutual physical violence. Despite the violence and Pesach's extreme fickleness, they continued to live together. One evening at a movie theater, they engaged in sexual foreplay and then went back to their apartment. Instead of continuing with sex at home, Pesach abruptly told Barry that she'd decided to save herself for Yako. As Barry started to leave the apartment, Pesach angrily screamed at him. Barry responded violently, choking Pesach until she became unconscious. Pesach was hospitalized but returned home the next day. At their apartment, Pesach and Barry argued again. When she began to scream at him, Barry attempted to silence her. When she resisted, he strangled her to death with a telephone cord. Barry was arrested and charged with assault for the prior act of choking and murder. At his jury trial, both Barry and a defense psychiatrist testified that Pesach was suicidal and intentionally provoked Barry into an uncontrollable rage. Barry asked the trial court to instruct the jury on the lesser offense of manslaughter because the evidence would permit jurors to conclude that he killed Pesach in the heat of passion. The court refused to submit the jury instruction, and the jury convicted Barry of murder and assault. Barry appealed to the California Supreme Court.